Let's bring you guys a quick post fight thoughts video of the Richard Torres versus Ahmed Hefni fight. Uh, fight lasted three rounds with Torres winning the fight by TKO. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm watching two events at the same time. So I, I'm watching the Jake Paul event as well, the Showtime card, and this event, uh, which is taking place, uh, which took place over at the um, Hulu Theater in Madison Square Garden in the undercard of the Lomachenko versus Ortiz fight. Uh, you can watch the replay on ESPN Plus uh, if you want to see Torres beat up Hefni. Uh, it was a pretty one-sided fight. Torres was just too strong, uh, as expected. Too strong, too fast, too young, too everything for Hefni to handle. Pretty much knocked him down every single round. Uh, referee uh, Arthur McCartney, uh really wanted to get knocked out here, right? He he kept he kept he kept getting involved too much, and uh, one of these days he's he's gonna get knocked out if he keeps refereeing a fight like that. Like, come on, man! Like, let them fight. Just let them fight. So anyway, uh, Torres simply was just too strong, too fast, and uh, Torres uh, gets a win, uh, improving to four and zero now as a pro boxer. Because he had to update it, so he's four and zero, four wins coming by way of knockout TKO, the longest fight he's ever had as a professional boxer. His previous fights lasted two rounds as a pro, uh, in his pro debut, and his last two fights lasted one round, and this is the longest time, longest fight he's ever had. Um, yeah, he was expected to win. I gotta say, he's looking a lot stronger now compared to his pro debut. You can see the muscles like in the in his back, it's insane. Um, but yeah, he looks a lot stronger here compared to his pro debut. Uh, Hefney suffers his third loss in his pro career. I mean, Hefney going to this fight, he he had that long layoff of not fighting for eight years. Um, I I you know he's. It's time for Hank to hang it up. I know he probably got offered some good money to sh fight Torres, but uh, you know Hefni should just hang up the gloves and retire. So anyway, good good win for Richard Torres, and um, and yeah, uh, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.